Apple has done an amazing job in the last two beta updates of iOS 26, the beta 4 and the last one, which was released this week, beta 5, especially beta 5. This is my favorite beta update of iOS 26. It's really smooth, it works as it should, but it also has a ton of new features and changes. And it's very rare to see that a beta 5 will have way more new features than a beta 4. Usually as we progress through the beta stages, we get less and less new features. But beta 5 is actually packed with cool new features. So in today's video, I will show you guys some of the best hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running the new iOS 26 beta 5. Now the first one will be on the lock screen of your device. When you go to set up a new lock screen, basically add a new wallpaper, now you will have a cancel button right there. Now previously if I would scroll right here and I just don't want to add a new like wallpaper, a new lock screen, if I wanted to go back I had to go all the way up and then swipe down to get out of the screen. Now we have the cancel button, you tap right there and just like that you're back on your lock screen. Next up is the home screen and the control center. Both of them will get the new buttons with the liquid glass effect. Now, I believe this was actually a thing with the first beta of iOS 26, but then they removed it. They add like that frosted glass effect. Now the liquid glass is back here on the home screen when you go to the edit mode, as well as on the control center. When you go to edit the toggles that you have on your control center, you will see the minus buttons that you use to remove any of them now have that really cool liquid glass design. Talking about the control center on your device running iOS 26 beta 5, when you go to your control center and you go to the Wi-Fi networks which you can actually see right here by just simply pressing and holding the Wi-Fi button, now you will see these Wi-Fi icons right there and now they actually have a lock there which indicates that that network is protected with a passcode. So you will be able to see them and of course know which networks that you want to connect to are protected and which are not. Of course, if there's a network that is not protected, it will show just the Wi-Fi symbol without the lock. There's also a new pop-up for AirPods. So right here you will see this new pop-up basically explaining the lights that you get on the case of your AirPods. So right there it says charging AirPods. The AirPods charging case now, now more clearly indicates charging status and also AirPods will remind you when it's time to charge. So you know that we get those notifications when to charge the AirPods and also you get the notification when you actually have the AirPods fully charged. And then right here we'll see the symbols basically we have the green light, the orange light and the red light and it shows you what they mean on the cases of your AirPods. Another change here on the home screen, what I've noticed here on the home screen, if I want to actually share an app, this is really interesting. If I go to share an app and tap the share button right here, usually before the share page will pop up right here where the app is. Now it just brings it down right here. Of course, it has that liquid glass effect. It looks really cool. But again, it pops up right here at the bottom of the screen and it looks really, really nice. The next one is a very welcome change for the phone app. When you go to your phone app and you go to your recent calls, if you go to select, you tap right there, tap select, you can, of course you can go ahead and just select any call you want to clear, but you will also get a clear all button right there at the top. So if you just want to clear everything that you have on your call history, simply tap on that button and you're good to go. Now here's another change for the phone app. So when you go to your apps here under settings, if you go to phone, you will see a change here, which is really interesting. You know that you can change the default phone app. So calling right there. Now it says seller instead of phone. So you will have your FaceTime audio your, and any third party apps that you have. And now it, right there, it says seller, which means that you're using your SIM to receive the calls. Now here is another change that you will see on the Photos app as well as the Music app on iOS 26 Beta 5. So you see the bar right here. Now previously if I would go here it will just shrink and it will remove this section right here. Now that is not the case. It will actually stay like this. And it will actually be removed only when I reach the top. So if I just go to the top here. 
you can see that now when I go to the top, it will actually be removed. And you will also have this gesture, which allows to swipe like this when you're at the top or the bottom of a page where you can actually switch between these. So if I just want to go to the menu of the years and months and days right there, I can do that. Or if I want to go to library and collections, I can just go ahead and swipe like this to switch between them. Now, as I said, this will happen on the music app as well so you can see if i swipe up or down it won't actually show the full bar here but when i go to the top i can just go ahead and reveal it or if i go to the bottom right here you can see how it works so if i go here i'm at the bottom but it doesn't show but i can just swipe a bit here to actually reveal anything i need and another great change on ios 26 beta 5 is the new adaptive battery notification it now actually works of course, it should have worked from the beginning, but now it does actually work with this beta. So you will basically get, get a notification on your lock screen, letting you know when the adaptive power mode is actually on and it started working on your device, which is really, really great. And another smaller change right here, the icon for games has actually been updated. Now we have seen this throughout these beta stages. Apple is actually constantly updating different icons with each beta. Now they have updated the games icon. It's probably very hard for you to notice the change if you don't actually compare it with the previous one, but it has actually been updated. So these are some of the amazing new hidden features that you will be able to find on iOS 26 beta 5. There's probably a lot more to talk about and I will be digging around with this update and see if I can find any other features to share with you guys. But again, it is an amazing update and we still have to wait for at least another couple of days and see how the battery will perform. But hopefully it will improve from beta 4 and hopefully with the next few betas, it should improve a lot because having a great software on your device if it doesn't have great battery life it's actually not that good so when it comes to new betas we're of course waiting for beta 6 now and it's really interesting to see what will happen next week if apple will actually decide to now move on to a weekly schedule usually in the past few years they have moved on from a two week schedule to a one week schedule after beta five. So from beta five to beta six should be one week apart. We'll have to see what Apple will do, but if that's the case, then August the 12th should most likely be the day that Apple will release the next beta of iOS 26. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. iOS 26 is actually shaping up to be a great update. Of course, a lot of new features are being added, a lot of adjustments, especially when it comes to the liquid glass design. But overall, it looks like when it comes to the days that it will be released to the public, it will be an amazing update that you will love. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, and and found it helpful please make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave a like on this video as it will help out a lot and i will see you guys on the next one